What's up everybody, Space Donks here. It's after hours, it's 5.28 p.m. East Coast time in the US and Tesla has took a massive dive and people are panicking and freaking out. Apple went down to some of my biggest positions and yeah, on this portfolio anyway. But check it out, I have patience of a Jedi. I, listen, I am buying right now i am buying i'm gonna go over that with you right now i went on and i bought tesla let's check this out i'm gonna share this with you right now let's check it out together i went on at 9 a.m about easter standard time and i saw it was going up so quick i said oh let me just grab this now i tried to get it last night after hours at 601 and i couldn't get it so yes i went in as you can see right here i had some dry powder i unleashed it for some Tesla shares. Here I have 6,000 and change available. So I went in and I bought seven shares of Tesla because it was such a low opportunity dip. And a lot of people, a lot of bulls are trying to scare just like Dogecoin, they want your coin cheap, baby. I'm not scared, I'm not worried. So I grab it and I'm gonna sit on these shares until it goes over a thousand dollars plus and then some. And I'm gonna make another video when that happens on his channel down the line and be like look what happened look what happened look what the patients have enriched me with that's what I believe a lot of people believe the opposite look with Tesla either you love it or hate it check this out the nice message after I got it this is just more evidence that I got it success your order to buy seven shares of Tesla has been filled at an average price of six hundred twenty eight dollars and eighty eight cents I got more Tesla and then I saw it later in the day I said oh my goodness it dropped more. Instead of being fearful, I went on and got more. What did I get? So later in the day, I come back and I'm like, you know what, Tesla's really down. Let me grab another share, baby. It's under 600. I wanted to do it quick. I didn't set a limit. I just went in for it again and I got it. Boom. I grabbed it. As you can see here on screen, I grabbed Tesla again. And I was like, yeah, I was, I was like getting really happy. It's under 600 instead of panicking, right? Most people, oh my God, I bought it earlier, 627. I have other shares that are higher. Oh my God, it's, the sky is falling. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. So check this out. I think this is a great sale and an opportunity. Here it is. You can see me highlighting it right here. And I got another share. Your order to buy one share of Tesla has been filled at the average price of $598 so I basically got it at 99 cents I literally got it under $500 that's $600 sorry that feels really good to me especially when it was like 800 something recently so yeah we're gonna go through this there's gonna be year lows if you go to your stock you go to your account whatever platform you're using whatever brokerage you're using and you look at yearly lows just take a good look at your yearly lows on a lot of stocks and um, altcoin and you're gonna see they go down naturally and sometimes they're staggering the dips are huge and everyone's like why didn't I buy there hindsight's 2020 you can't always be right but Tesla is just like I'm a believer and I got it I went on and got another one look at that for 2021 March Kathy Wood has a bunch of Tesla she's a big believer in it a lot of people a lot of bears are saying things that aren't cool because they want it to drop because they're shorting it they're making their money well I'm a firm believer in holding quality stocks that I believe in a lot of analysts disagree forever either you hate Tesla or you love it some people are just like it's way overvalued I believe this is one of the major stocks of the future especially with electric vehicles I'm a believer in it otherwise I wouldn't put my hard-earned money into it money doesn't grow on trees this is serious cash I'm putting into this and yes I'm not worried. I'm so happy, guys. I'm happy. Like when Dogecoin dipped the other day and I bought more, I'm happy. I'm like, oh my God. These people are going crazy. They're panicking. This happened back in March 2020. For good reason. People were panicking. Guess what? I was buying. I got another portfolio sky high because I was buying at prices from years ago because it dropped so low. So what I'm saying and I'm showing you is that if you believe in quality stocks and you believe you have something quality, blue chip stocks, I have Apple and I did a little shop today on Apple. I'm gonna I'm gonna get do that in another video. So today I'm shopping for Tesla. I just wanted to share it with you. It just has that something that magical thing. Yeah, you gotta believe in Elon Musk, the man. Like I said, people either hate or love Tesla. Yeah, I love it. 
okay, I'm guilty. What can I say? I want to make money in the future. I want to see this grow. It took a massive dive, without a doubt it did. Look at this. And it might go even lower. And it might sit there for a little bit. Everything's volatile right now. We're in some uncertain times. So I'm willing to hold this with Jedi patience for a very long time with the peace sign up, with Dogecoin glowing on my chest, the logo of it, because I'm a believer. So that's it. I wanted to share that with you today. I thought it was really interesting. Tesla is there to a lot of people on the moon, but I think we're really going to the moon. Kathy Wood was saying that it would be between, if you don't know who she is, she has an ARK ETF and it's going to be a space ETF. I went shopping for some space stuff. I'm going to get that up in different videos. It's so fun. But yeah, she has been right on with Tesla. So what? It takes a dip. Everything goes backwards at some point. Everything takes dips, natural dips. This one, without a doubt, on all honesty, is a big dip. Look at that. It's a major dip. It shed a few hundred, like, wow, off its high. Look at that. It's really a big dip. But here I am. Let's look at the live ticker for Tesla right now. Yeah, Tesla after hours now, after all is said and done, is at 595.49. I think overall it's a really good buy. You, no one's going to be right 100% of the time. So it's good to go on the journey and show the failures that happen as well. But I really do believe this is going to be a really good investment long term. I'm not talking about three months. I'm talking about long. There's no swing trade in this. I'm staying in all the way. I'm riding it down and I'm going to ride it all the way back up, whatever it is. Literally putting my money where my mouth is on this one. So let's just check this out real quick before I close this video, before we wrap it. Tesla closes below $600 for the first time since December. Here's what's weighing the stock down. Let's just look at this real quick. Tesla finished below $600 for the first time. Okay, yes, we see that. The sell-off comes, by the way, did lose 15%. Their listing, competition, and parts shortages are also playing a part. Okay. Shares in Tesla were down as much as 8% Friday morning. They've since recovered to finish less than 4% as the markets showed a dramatic bounce back late on Friday. But the stock has still lost more than 15% of its value for the year and finished below 600 for the first time since December 4th. Here are some of the biggest factors weighing down the Colt stock. Uh-oh, the Colt stock, you heard that? And knocking the world's wealthiest crown off Elon Musk's head. The CEO owns about 22% of the shares. So, okay, yeah, we got Fed fears, definitely. Okay, there's a lot of reasons and everyone has an opinion. I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. I have no problem, like I said earlier, holding this competition. Let's see, bulls acknowledge competition. Some of Tesla's biggest and most vocal backers have crushed out a chunk of their shares and begun to acknowledge the onslaught of electric vehicle competition as a real challenge to Tesla at last. For example, Ron Barron sold 1.7 million worth of shares and invested in two of the company's biggest potential rivals, GM, Cruise and Amazon. Okay, whatever. I don't care what these people are talking about, what they're doing. Hindsight's 2020. I'm holding and I'm firmly believing all the competition and all that. Still is unproven. I believe Tesla's light years ahead and it's going to work out well for me as an investor. I'm holding until a thousand plus and beyond. Just saying. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll be back soon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace.